Hi, this is Hidi Brand, and today I'm going to talk to you about competing with yourself. How important it is to compete with yourself. You see, I used to be a personal trainer, and people would hire me to train them to achieve their goals, to form a new habit, and reach their goal, whether it was losing weight or gaining muscle mass. So what I used to do. If they haven't worked out at all, lifted weights at all, or they haven't done it in a very long time, I first reprogram their body to get used to working out again. So this would take several weeks usually, and then I would progressively push them to the next level to have them compete with themselves to do one more rep. Once their body was used to it, and their body wasn't so sore anymore after the first few weeks or several weeks that it took to get it used to working out again, I was able to just push them to the next level, little by little. So in weightlifting, when you just feel like you are ten, and you just feel like you, well, that's probably enough. It's getting harder and harder to do the repetitions. And you just go for one more repetition, and it's getting a lot harder. And then you just push it to another one, one more repetition, and there you just go again to the point where you can barely lift it, and you cannot even complete the full repetition. So that's your max rep. So you can apply this for the next day. You just keep track of it, and the next day you know your benchmark. You know your limit. Your max rep. So the next time you work out, then you will just have to beat your previous benchmark. Just do one more, and so on and so forth. And you're just getting the feeling that you're feeling stronger. You're feeling just amazing because you did better yourself. You're developing new habits, better habits. You're challenging yourself. And you're just reprogramming your brain to just do better and better and better. And you can apply this to any sports in general, and whether it is running or tennis or whatever it is, golfing. And you can also apply this to your business. And that's what's amazing. It's like it's the same rule. So you see, with your business, whether you're brand new. Or whether you've been in your business for a long time, so you see the same rule magically applies to your business. So whether you're brand new or you've been in your business for a little bit, you can just apply the same rule and just write down what you want to improve on. Let's say you're just feeling like you're not doing that many videos. You're maybe doing one video a week. Well, how about you just write down that you're going to do this next week two videos instead of one, and once you accomplish that goal, you're just gonna feel so good about your accomplishment, and you have created a new habit. You have raised the bar and bettered yourself. And you can apply this to phone calls. Some people are not very comfortable with phone calls, and I was there before. So what you can do is instead of ha- of making one phone call a day, you could just go two phone calls a day for the next day, and three phone calls the next day, and four phone calls, and so on and so forth. Same applies to blogging. You could just wonder, well, what am I going to blog about? Well, you can just focus on producing valuable content about what you know, about your expertise, about your specialty, or simply about what you learned today. Because in our business, we are reading a lot. We are educating ourselves professionally and personally, personal development, a lot. So recreate content from what you've learned. So what you can do with blogs or videos is the same thing. It's just create content, and instead of doing one blog, one video a week, you just go for two blogs a week, three blogs a week, 
and so on and so forth. And you're just reprogramming your brain and you're competing with yourself. So imagine the feeling once you have done one more, one more video, one more blog, one more call. You just feel so accomplished and you feel, yes, I beat myself. I won. And you're just feeling so much stronger. So the next time you can just increase the bar to the superior level, to the next level. Same goes for personal development. Read one more paragraph a day and then go up to one more page a day and then one more chapter. Write it down on your journal and check it off when it's done. And you'll get this feeling of accomplishment and you're just going to be more committed. You're going to be more committed to what you're doing because you see that you're getting better at it and you're going to get better results. I believe this is the healthiest type of competition you can have. It's with yourself because you will progress. You will feel stronger. You will better yourself. You will create better habits and raise the bar for yourself and you will have better success. You will create better results and better success. So what you can do is reflect and challenge yourself. Reflect what do you want to accomplish this week? Do you want to improve on videos? Do you want to improve on blogging? Do you want to improve on self-development? And sometimes it is what we fear the most, like a phone call maybe. Just write it down, commit to it, and check it off once it's done. You just better yourself, you're performing at a higher level. And at one point you're going to be unstoppable. Listen, I believe in you, believe in yourself. Challenge yourself, compete with yourself, perform at your highest level every day. And this is, my friend, this is the recipe to success. This is how you're going to get faster results and faster success. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.